that's how much it cost me to drive from Calabasas, California to here, Torrance, last or yesterday, and then dash all day, make $254. I spent $39.60, and it was 8.8 .8 gallons. Eight, eight, three. Look at those eight threes and eights. What's going on, everybody? Just got my energy for the morning now today. I woke up a little bit late. It is, uh, it's 10.30 already in the morning. And yeah, I didn't go and sleep until about 2 a.m. last night. Yesterday definitely kicked my ass. My brain was super taxed. But today, we're gonna smash out there. It's Tuesday. I expect it to be a little bit slow, but I'm not gonna let that deter me from going out there the rest of the day from 10.30 till 10 o'clock to see how much we can smash out there. Hopefully we can hit the $250 goal on a Tuesday. If not, still aiming for 200 plus, which would be awesome to get. So I'm gonna go try a different hot zone or a different hot spot in this zone to see if it works out for me a little bit better than uh, my other one that I did yesterday. Cause there's a lot of places in this, uh, in this big zone to go to. And I just gotta kind of learn that little learning curve right now. So smash out there, let's go make some money and I hope you guys are gonna make your money for today also. First order of the morning here on this Tuesday, we're gonna go to truck Stins, uh, American Bistro. This one's gonna be for $11, 3.2 miles. Now, I'll be honest, guys, I am dragging right now. No, I'm not a dragon, but I'm dragging. But full day, get the energy, let's go. It says leave at the top step, so I mean, this is the top step. I'll leave it right there. All right, enjoy, thank you. You guys wanna get some lemonade with me? I'm not getting lemonade, but I love lemonade. Got a catering order, $12 plus. It says one item, so I have no idea what it is. Probably a bunch of crap. And we're gonna go, uh, you know, load it up to wherever it's gonna go. A business or a customer's home and let's see what we get paid on this one thought it was gonna be lemonade but no it's just a place called lemonade and it's you know a bunch of like bowls and food I don't know looks pretty good smell pretty good in there I don't know if I would eat it looks more like a girl store than a dude store but hey you know that's just me oh we're at the John Deere headquarters guys this is awesome oh I can already see a sweet ass tractor on the inside there it's probably from like the early 1960s or some shit it looks old all right let's go uh, drop this off 1938 pretty sweet a little bit older than I thought, 1938. Got $18 to drop that one off. Not bad, it was only like 1.3 miles from, from where I picked it up. The locals know where I'm at, they know where uh, Lemonade's at, and they know where John Deere's at. Very, very close, easy, quick run, probably took me 15 minutes to grab that. Let's get another one here and see what else we can deliver to. All right, a little bit of an update. Right now it is 12.03 in the afternoon, sitting at like 28 bucks, only done two orders since like that 10.30 time frame that I started. So a little slow out here. Yesterday was slow like this also, um, me being in these brand new zones, it's hard for me to really determine where I should be. Right now I'm sitting at, you know, the mall area. And I don't know if I really should be in this zone. I was in this, or in this hot spot. I was in it yesterday and it didn't perform too well during, you know, the morning hours. But as soon as it hit like um, afternoon, like say after about three to four o'clock, this zone popped off and it was pretty damn good. Um, I've got another zone that I kind of want to shoot over to where it shows a, a lot of stuff like smaller businesses going on. And I might go try that zone. It's like three or four miles just uh, south of me here. So just a quick little update. I don't know how your guys' day is going. Tuesdays are notoriously slow is how we kind of say it out there. So let me know in the comments below if your guys' Tuesday is going slow. Regardless of what happens out here, still going to stick it out until about 10 p.m. tonight. And we'll see how much uh, numbers we can make out in this zone. I know it's going to pop off during dinner time because they got a lot of nice restaurants in this area. Really compact, compacted in a small area. I mean, it's even better than how Vegas lays out their businesses. We have all like these same restaurants, but they're they're spread out into all different zones. Like here, it's all jam packed into like one small area. So the tip potential, the tip potential, and the customer order potential out of this area at nighttime should be super fire. I can't wait for the weekend over here because I know it's going to be very very good. All right. Let's uh, continue it on and let's see what else I can snag here. All right, maybe I spoke a little too soon on the zone there. 12, 13, not even like 10 minutes later. Just got a BJ's order here, 14, 25 plus. It's like four or five items is what it says for a catering. All right, I made it inside to the pickup zone and uh, no one's standing here, but I'm gonna guess that's probably my order right there. Let's go. Oh yeah, I was right. This one's it. He's got to grab some uh, plates and a few other things that they're gonna load in here, probably napkins and all of that kind of stuff for all the pizzas and all those those bags are pretty heavy there. So this, I think this is gonna come out to a nice little banger here. Hopefully, let's see what we get. Wow, this was a cool area to drop. I didn't close off the offer yet, but there it is right there. And I was just talking to a guy here saying he's got a friend from San Diego. Oops, almost missed the elevator. Put my foot in the door here. Oh, dang, missed it. So he's got a friend that does uh, orders in San Diego because I'm headed towards San Diego, you know? That's gonna be like my final kind of stopping area. And he said there's really good areas down there and his friend kills it on the weekend. So we're gonna shoot down there and you know, go to that area that he recommended. Yes. <laughs> Just looked at that tip. 
banger. There we go. That's what we like to see. All right, back into the hot zone. You see it's 1250. Didn't take me very long to go run that one and come back. That was a super freaking banger. So cool. Cool, we made it back to Lemonade. This one's gonna be a $10 plus going 2.3 miles. Just run into a quick customer's home. No business this time. So I don't think it's gonna turn into a super bang, but it should be still nice. Get this to the door real quick here. Drop off, drop off, drop off. Enjoy your lemonade, thank you. All right, we're delivering to a business again. I gotta go to the Chicken Inca right now. This one's a banger, $32 plus. It called me from like six miles away. So it's gonna be a bunch of food. It said 33 items. Oh my God, it might be this whole thing right here. Oh geez. Wow, it was that order. And like four people just met me outside to carry all of the food inside, which was awesome of them. I haven't closed it out yet, but that's what I just got paid for dropping off here. It's probably gonna be a banger, I hope. 65.25, yes, another banger out here in Torrance. All right, let's head back over to the hot zone here and see what else we can snag. If we can get some more businesses like that, these businesses are awesome to deliver to. Very, very lucky right now, awesome. Wow, what an order that was. 3.23, it took me a minute to go run that order. It was 20 minutes just for me to get from where I got the order to the location to pick up, which is insane, because the traffic out here is you know a little bit more thick than normal or what I would normally like. Back to the hot zone right now. I'm gonna kick it off for dinner. This is probably the little calm before the storm here, but hopefully dinner pops off tonight and we can get some really good orders. I wanna go up into these hills. Everybody says these PV hills that you can see almost right there are supposed to have some really good orders in them, but I haven't quite seen it yet. So we'll see what happens. I did get a few bangers today, so it seems like I'm, maybe I'm getting dropped into that algorithm. I don't know. It's all just a guess, but we'll see what happens here uh, for dinner time. Let's do it. Got a Chick-fil-A order here, 850 plus. We're gonna run this, I think it's going to apartments right now. So let's go uh, drop this one off and see what it turns into. We've got my Chick-fil-A. I gotta go in and find uh, some suite to go drop this off at. So let's figure it out real quick. Oh look, a kitty. Oh, that was a nice one guys, look at that. Got paid 20 something bucks on that one. And I get to pet the kitty. Meow. 25, 20. Banger, another one, and that's from Chick-fil-A. That's crazy to get it from a fast food place, but this place is starting to be very good. Fingers crossed on that, don't wanna jinx it, right? And dinner now is officially at, like popping, 4.46 at night right now. We're gonna see what else we can snag. I'm going till, I think like 9.30, 10 o'clock, and we'll see what we can close out with. Oh, squirrel. It's dinner time, and I get to go to Frida to pick up right now. I think I just went the wrong way, so I'm gonna go this way. Always 100% going the wrong way on apartments and even businesses, because I don't know where I'm going so this one's a 12 25 plus it says catering five items and it looks like a nice restaurant in here so let's see if this turns out into a nice one once we drop it off at the family's home oh hey puppy yeah. i hope you're nice i hope you i was like i hope you're nice take care see ya what would you guys do in a situation when a dog kind of like presses you like that? You guys like trip out or you guys just kind of let it happen? Headed into BJ's right now. It's about 6.30 at night. This one's a 7.25 plus. It's just a small little meal, but run it over. It's uh, very close. It's like 1.1 miles or so from here. So this should be a quick one to deliver. BJ's brew house arriving at the door. Enjoy your BJ's, thank you. Back to the hot spot, 7.08 right now. And hopefully we can snag another thing from BJ's. We've got a lazy dog over here, P.F. Chang's. That's what I'm hoping to get an order from and maybe a super banger here. I know families are hungry and it's like that perfect hour right now to get one of those really good uh, offers. So let's see what happens. Back to BJ's. This one's gonna be a 1250 plus to drop this one off. And it's just going to uh, you know, a customer's uh, apartment is what it's gonna go to. So let's go figure this one out and see how fun this apartment's gonna be. Oh, scary apartments. It's like The Shining. There should be two little girls at the end of the hall. Wanna play? All right, BJ is coming to the door here. Almost made it. Top right of your screen. That's what I got paid for dropping off this order at this customer's door. Enjoy your BJ's. It's 8.30 right now and I've been chilling. I haven't seen any good orders come through. I've gotten maybe like two or three that I've declined sitting in this area right here. I'm still by the BJ's. So I'm hoping I can snag a BJ's or PF Chang's or something like that. So I'm just doing some editing in between here. I think I'm gonna dash for another hour, maybe an hour and a half, because um, I do need to feed myself also. And I think I wanna get like chilies and it closes at 10 o'clock. So I need to order it by 9.30 or so. So I think that's when I'm gonna wrap it up. We're doing pretty good. I've overshot the $200 goal. Haven't quite hit that 250 
yet, but we're still doing good. There's still about an hour left in the night here, so let's see what happens. I think I'm really just stuck in that BJ's queue right now, but hey, I'll take it. This is a $12 plus running over to a customer's house, and it's a short run. It's only like two and a half miles. I think 2.3 miles is what it is to get there. BJ's, let's go. Enjoy your BJ's order, thank you so much. That was a nice, easy 13.25 run. This puts me at, let's see what time is it, 9.13 right now. So I think I'm only gonna go for about 15 more minutes, or I'm just gonna clock out in 15 more minutes here, because I need to order some chilies. They close at 10 o'clock, and I wanna make sure that I get my order in and I can go pick it up wherever it's at. Pretty sure it's pretty close to me here. And then I've also gotta do Planet Fitness also tonight, go take a shower, go do all that, get all cleaned up. And I think in the next two days here, I've also got to get my laundry done. So I've got to start searching where I get my laundry done in the morning time. I actually might wake up early tomorrow morning, like 5 a.m. or something like that, and go to a laundry place and get my laundry done. So tonight is kind of like a, a pack everything together in my brain here and try and analyze what I'm going to do to make sure that I get you know all of my shit done so I can still have clean clothes to wear, stay clean, make sure I the Planet Fitness is worked out in this city also, and yeah, just all of that. So let's go for 15 more minutes here. We'll see what happens. And then I'll go ahead and close the numbers down for tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of day two out here in Torrance, California. I just got my chilies. I'm about to grab up on a fat ass cheeseburger, potato soup, potato fries. Got a beverage also with that. And the final that I got for today was a total of $247 and some change, 24 cents there, which is not too bad on the second day of being out here in Torrance, not really knowing what I'm doing, and I'm still practically hitting that $250 goal each day. I've made $498 across the past two days that I've been here. So if we keep this up, I should definitely be able to hit that goal of $1,750 by the end of Sunday. And with the Prop 22 California adjustments, I should be able to go over that goal and maybe even possibly hit the $2,000 goal. That would be really awesome to tie back two weeks in a row, $2,000 in two different cities that I'd never driven in. I think that would be a, a little milestone, a little achievement like Xbox pops up in the bottom, achievement unlocked. That's what I'm aiming for there. That would be really cool to get one of those. All right, guys, I'm going to enjoy this burger. I'm going to enjoy this potato soup, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Peace.